when people talk about a plant-based diet is what about protein do you get? Yeah. How do you get enough and and do you get enough when a lot of those other diets you probably get too much? Yeah, I just got discharged from the protein deficiency unit at my hospital after a week. I said no vegan ever. You know, <laughs> and if you get enough calories and if you're eating a whole food diet and you don't really have to construct it. You can have salads when you want them and soups when you want them and Middle Eastern food when you want it and some Japanese food. and. Mm -hmm. Um, you really don't have to worry about it. And there's been, you know, just recently, a change in focus where instead of plant-based physicians apologizing and instructing patients to focus, you know, excessively on sources of protein or maybe even add in some animal protein just to ensure, the uh, pendulum has gone that low protein is an advantage. And this is the work of uh, Dr. Walter Longo from USC, a uh, researcher at Harvard, Morgan Levine, where there's pretty clear data from NHANES and other databases that um, if you're looking for long-term health, long-term avoidance of chronic disease, low protein, certainly in the animal protein world, which is meats and uh, poultries and fish, uh, low is better uh, until at least we're in our late 60s, early 70s, when there may need to be a more focus on protein in general for maintaining muscle mass. Um, and it just is built in now that it's, it's a selling point, if we're in the business of selling optimal diets for heart patients, that we eat a naturally high fiber diet. We eat a naturally vitamin rich diet. I mean, if you're eating whole foods, but we actually eat a naturally somewhat lower protein diet that favors optimal health. Um, I was at a conference at University of Southern California just recently and a researcher from Harvard named Friedman presented data and his summary was that he actually thinks a lot of the advantage of plant-based nutrition and he was speaking as a scientist I don't think he eats this way mm -hmm. uh, from what he said but that the naturally low protein uh, advantage of a plant diet is is actually profound so uh, boy that really has shifted the uh, you know chicken gym rat kind of uh, yeah. no aspersion to people that lift weights and all but um, that idea, you know, 200 grams a day of protein and all to, well, maybe 50 is enough and maybe plants are a healthier way to get it.